Hey guys and welcome to After Work. My name is Valentine and in this channel we talk about various data science topics that are important when you're starting out your data science career. If such topics interest you, be sure to subscribe to this channel. All right, so let's get started with our um, video of the day, how data science took me to the mortuary or the morgue. This is actually a true story, so it's not a made up fiction story, it's something that happened in the past. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, so it was, I think, um, five years ago, about five years ago, it was 2016, and uh, I was in my final year of um, campus, and I had so many ideas of what I could do after campus, and I wasn't sure which one to choose. Throughout my campus, I wasn't really a party kind of a person. I used to do a lot of events when it comes to um, entrepreneurial kinds of events, like you know hackathons or conferences, networking. So, so almost almost all my weekends during a month was spent on just events um, um, when it comes to tech. So I had so many ideas uh, of what I was going to do after campus and there was this one idea that I had been thinking about since back when I was in high school. Um, back in high school we used to have uh, um, science congress. It's just um, it's more like an engineering fair um, where we used to have just um, projects. You come up with projects and you present and you would win different kinds of prizes. But now this idea started back in, in high school but um, during my campus you had thought about it but I wasn't really sure whether to start it. And towards the end of my campus I thought of okay you know what um, just, try an out, just try out an idea. If it doesn't work out it's okay it's all right. So yeah, and um, hence I decided to start this idea. So the idea, I was going to call it Corpse Finder. So uh, <laughs> the idea was um, for you to go to a website and you would search um, um, for, um, um, you just put a search on, let's say, persons that you think might be dead and you would um, um, try to identify whether you know the person that you're looking for is actually dead. Um, the problem that I was trying to solve here was that um, um, many people, especially where I live, I live in Nairobi, Kenya, um, around this place, well, not around this place, but um, the problems that you would hear most of the times were that there were persons who were looking for missing persons um, and they were trying to um, you know, locate them. Um, and the first place that you, one of the first places that you would probably want to locate those persons were in just morgues. Um, and, and, and to make it easier, I thought of coming up with this, uh, you know, application, web application that allowed you to be able to search and be able to see whether those persons had been um, um, taken to those particular mortuaries within the locality or within now Kenya um, worldwide. So the idea was to save on um, time spent on moving around, um, um, identifying dead persons. At the same time, also save on costs too um, for those persons who are looking for dead persons. So, and um, that was the major goal. Of course, there were other goals um, um, for that project. Like you know, you would um, based on the data that had been collected. If the users, the two primary users were mortuaries on one hand, and also on the other hand, there were. Um, persons, um, just lo uh, local citizens. Um, of course, if you were to create a persona, you'd say maybe an uncle, an aunt, of, or, or not an, an aunt, uh, or a father um, who probably has um, someone in their family missing. And the idea was that for the persons, they would go to um, copsfinder.com and they would search um, just some, some, some keywords about the person, maybe male aged 28, um, um, has you know, um, short hair, something of the sort. Um, and they would get all these results, which of course, if they are able to, to, to um, um, uh, see that one of the results resembles probably um, their search, they could just click on it and it would give them some more information about that person, where that person was like located and the kinds of, uh, uh, the, where the person died and also the kinds of, let's say if it's an accident where um, in terms of the location um, and also just some characteristics about the say um, damages to, to their bodies. And uh, the motivation was, um, uh, I think in 2013, during my campus here, there was um, a terrorist attack in Kenya, and it was again Westgate um, terrorist attack. And um, uh, 
quite a number of uh, after a few num after a few days of of that incident happened many people passed on and uh, and um, families were searching for their loved ones and they couldn't get them so yeah so that was the main goal being able to identify um dead persons but the other goal was um being able to also identify say reasons for death like you know um if you are able to collect all that data much mogs would just key in information about those persons just all that data and if an analysis was to be done, you would be able to identify, okay, how many um, of these persons who are dead or were pedestrians and where exactly were they, um, uh, where, where did they pass on, um, what was it, were they hit by maybe public um, vehicles, were they hit by private transport vehicles, um, was it, and, and, and all of that analysis would most likely um, say um, help influence some sort of decision. Maybe the road infrastructure was bad, hence the reason why. Um, you know, um, um, there was an accident and that caused that person's death. And the idea of, was to just use that data in order to um, help um, um, create the infrastructure and also create systems that would um, essentially help um, the community um, around. In addition to that, um, the idea was also to be able to use that data and, 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 and um, fast track, say, um, some process when it comes to so application of, of, of various um, um, documents when it comes to, let's say, um, um, handling maybe funeral matters, um, maybe pulling some data from the um, health, uh, from the um, government's websites and, and being able to do some sort of um, um, uh, analysis or application um, to get maybe something like a, a death certificate or, um, or death permit. So, um, that was the major those that was the other second reason the first one identified dead persons the second one was the, to identify dead pedestrians and the third one was also this one was the one that was a bit more of a um, breakthrough how was the platform going to make money and the idea was to introduce an e-commerce platform um for funeral plannings um normally in um this ecosystem in uh, well in, in kenya in general um when a person dies there's usually a committee that's formed that organizes the funeral arrangements or how of that of how that person is going to be um um you know um buried and and some of the things that they usually do they usually there's usually during those committees they usually come up with a long checklist and people usually go to shop of for for, for those different things like you know coffins garments flowers transport catering um so the idea was also to introduce a different kind of a um, um part part of this part of cops finder would also have an e-commerce site so it was well figured out um and that was now the idea and <laughs> i decided to 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 go test it out because when when you when you have a simple idea you need to, to go test it out to use it. so i visited um, um the public mortuary in nairobi it's called the city mortuary and um, I remember it was on a weekday at around 3 p.m. I walked in into the gate and, you know, there's a breeze that hits you. Bah! And you're like, OK, what am I doing here? Um, are you sure you want to, you know, pursue this idea further? But when you are really determined, you just simply go through um, that particular idea. So, yeah, I went in to the reception um, area and, I, I, you know, I happened to introduce myself as a student so I'm working on a project and the receptionist was like, OK, I know. Let me talk to my boss. Let me take you to my boss who might be able to help you further. Went to the boss. I you know, explained everything to the boss and the boss was like, OK, wonderful idea. We need such kinds of innovations, you know. I was, well, of course, I was I felt a bit OK. Good, good. But then the boss was like, but now we have an existing system um, that we use of just using a computer. But let me take you to another staff who might be able to help you further. So it took me to the other staff and, and um, I explained what I was doing. Um, of course, I didn't demo first. Um, uh, you know, I asked for questions about the problems that they are facing uh, as a product, you know, having gone to many uh, startup conferences when they tell you you first of all need to ask your user what you're doing and you know of the problems that they're facing so that's what i did ask them of the problems that they're facing how what are the current solutions that they're using trying to see whether hmm can my solution be able to help them out um and so he explained everything like step by step like you know dead bodies are brought here 
and and what we do is that um, we of course after after those initial stages we we how we get that data um, um, uh, that the the current data that we're using is that we take cameras we take our own camera then we go and take um, the photos of the dead person in different angles and it was like okay um, do you want us to go and <laughs> and do it can I take you through the whole process in you know in actual sense like you know <laughs> go into a room with a dead body and you know just shoot of course i was like okay um just wait for a bit i'll show you my demo then we can go in my mind i'm like ah i already have all the information that i need i don't need to go through that but nonetheless he happened to um um show me the system they were using it wasn't actually a system it was just simply um they would um take photos and they would transfer the photos to a folder on um on their on their on their desktop um on, on windows operating systems that's the, the desktop that um um, part of it, there was a folder on the desktop and they would put the folders there and they would arrange them in terms of the days. So the folders had the dates. Uh, so if a person came in and wanted to look for a person, dead persons, first of all, rather than straight going to have a look at the person, they first of all would um, be asked a few questions to identify whether that person um, that they're looking for had been brought. Um, and if, you know, the, is the, if there is some resemblance um, in that, then the persons would... would um, uh, they, they would be shown the photos which um, uh, in the computer and they say yes but uh, when, when it's when the person sort of resembles the person that they're looking for then they'll be taken to have a look at the actual person so I realized that you know um, <laughs> it wasn't going to solve a problem that the monk um, the monk itself was was, was solving for was, was was facing there wasn't really a problem that I was trying to solve there but also he also mentioned something like you know you by law it's it's you cannot post photos of dead persons online so the things that you see on social media those ones are actually um you can get arrested for that so yeah um <laughs> so i've given you just a, a bit of, of what um i had done so by the way after that i just you know cleared off the idea i never pursued it but i actually remember when i was telling the story to my parents uh well my my my, my sister and my, <laughs> my mom and they were like ah valentine of all the things that you thought to do, <laughs> that was the only thing that you ever thought of doing. Like, you know, <laughs> but yeah, so I never pursued that idea further. Um, yes, I would have um, maybe the e-commerce aspect, but after just simply assessing, like, you know, um, would I want to pursue this for the next five, 10 years? I decided not to. So yeah, in terms of the key takeaways, I would say that um, I was able to learn some new technologies. Um, um, I was able to practice SQL more, PHP, which is a web technology and JavaScript. I've used those ones in a couple of other projects um, when it comes maybe to developing my own site, I can be able to do that. Maybe, and, and that could have been as a result of even such of a learning experience. Um, in addition to that, I was able to learn how data science might be applicable in different kinds of businesses. Um, some businesses I would understand may not necessarily require the full-blown solutions that I might suggest. Sometimes you might um, decide to create maybe a big data kind of a solution for just an organization that's only having data for an Excel uh, that stores data on Excel and, and that that kind of, of, of a realization helps you to, it aligns you to um, what exactly is happening on the ground um, in terms of expectations. Um, the other thing was that um, 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 I was able to put that project into um, my portfolio of, of, of projects, which, which means that, you know, when I was green, when I was coming out of, of campus and I didn't have anything to showcase, this was one of those projects that I would have been able to showcase. And it also builds your resilience. So the whole process of just working on different kinds of projects, which may not necessarily be projects that you'd want to undertake in the long run, just um, sort of builds up your 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 zeal to just keep on um, 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 going, um, keep on learning more about data, trying to see how data can be data science can be applicable to various kinds of um, organizations of different nature. So yeah, um, so that's a bit about um, this whole um, how data science took me to the mortuary. <laughs> um, I've never gone back there for a data science kind of a um, uh, cause, but. Um, um, I, I possibly might share um, some more stories when it comes to data science. So if you did like this video, be sure to um, 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 click on the thumbs up icon as well as if you'd want to hear more of such or to hear more of such videos in the future, be sure to subscribe to this channel. 
All right, so that's it for this um, video. See you in the next um, video.